MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the National League Division Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for game three. And you got to figure here in a five game series, the odds are long for coming back when you're down two games to none. But hey, it's not impossible. It's been done before, but you can bet the other guys are hungry to end this thing right here and now to give themselves a couple of days off before the next series. This should be a good one. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Blake Snell will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? You know, the key for Blake Snell is getting him out on that mound every five days. He's had some injuries over the course of his career, but there's no doubting the stuff. He's another guy, upper 90s fastball, good curveball. His slider's gotten a lot better, and he'll mix in an occasional changeup. This guy has a chance to be a dynamic pitcher every time he takes the mound. First offering. Mookie Betts is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. <laughs> Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. The left fielder, Delino DeShields. So next to hit is Delino DeShields. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Up with it, Camposano. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. In now is Anthony Rendon. Previous history with Blake Snell. He's got one hit in 16 tries. Here's the first pitch. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. The 1 0. And here's a ball hit in the air. Paisley will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. 1 2 3 go the Dodgers. Dodgers scoreless, Padres coming to bat. It's the battle for Southern California bragging rights, and it's on the show. Dustin May is on the mound, and he'll look to wrap up this division series. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. And now in the box, Nolan Gorman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The third baseman, Nolan Gorman. Now the pitch. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. The 
wind up and the 0 1. And that one cut a little too much a ball and a strike. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. Here comes the 1 2. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Another full count pitch home. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Gone! So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. And the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. Here now is Adam Hazley. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. This one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Grounded to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting third. The left fielder. Juan Soto. Juan Soto to the plate now. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's got three base hits in 20 at bats. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. Ball one. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Ball. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2 0 oh now. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Hey, D. Rowe, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and I, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch that you almost can't get to with a power guy on the mound. I'm okay with you giving a little bit on the corners, but you start giving north, it makes it super tough on the hitters. Two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And he chased it in the dirt. Smith finds it. And a good throw just beats him. Soto has retired. Two down now. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Fernando Tatis Jr. looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now the pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Bouncer up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. 
One score is in the inning coming on this solo home run. Second inning coming up. It's 1-0 San Diego. Digging in will be Reese Hoskins. He'll match up with Blake Snell now to lead off the inning. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. Soto is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. That is good. The catcher, Will Smith. So the next to bat will be Will Smith. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. He was able to recognize that pitch early. His eyes lit up on that one. Able to pull it down the line for a nice base hit. So here's Brandon Nimmo. So watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Ready with the 0 1. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. And with two gone now, let's take a look at our up-to-the-minute playoff tree. And as you can see there, the Braves have already punched their ticket to the NLCS, so they'll sit back and wait for this series to play itself out. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. From the belt, the pitch. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. Dodgers leave one. It remains one nothing. Last half of the second set to go. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Trent Grisham. Here's the first pitch. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? Lifted the other way down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he struck him out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box now, Nick Prado. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. 
hit on the ground out to short. Camargo picks it up cleanly. In time to first, and there are two away. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring up Luis Camposano. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Into the corner and slicing foul. Padres an early 1-0 lead here in the second. And it's 1-2. One and two. Count one and two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he takes three. ball three, so it's a full count now. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. But you know what? Sometimes result is the only thing that matters. At the plate now Daniel Robertson as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Sinker and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Now the 0 2 pitch. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now, and he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. Here comes the one two. Weak rounder back to the mound. Camargo brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for San Diego. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Now into the box, David Fletcher, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got a feel for all his pitches. 2 0 now. Now the pitch. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Here it comes to 3 0. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game when guys get count leverage and take fastballs. It's a game of fastballs. You calibrate everything off the heater. Surprising take right there. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Dustin May. First pitch on its way. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. 
He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. Two balls and two strikes now. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Ground ball left side. And there's out number two. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead, get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. One and one to the Dodgers' leadoff man. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two out, nobody on. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And he fouls this one off. And look out as that one ran in and got him. You know with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino DeShields. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Owen won the count. Betts, the runner at first with two gone. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Hit down the line at first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for LA. They're down 1 0. Now at the plate, Blake Snell as we move on to the bottom of inning no number three. Blake. Yeah. And now the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back but he does so too late it's strike one. And that one yanked just foul. Here comes the one two. Misses for the second ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Popped him up. Fletcher shading to his right. He's got it one away. Next to dig in, Nolan Gorman. Off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. And now pitch on the way. Low for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And this one's too far inside, ball two. 
I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Nope. 3-0. and Adam Hazley is on deck. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. I got three and one. Three balls, one strike. And he'll lay off the cut fastball here as this misses off the plate for ball four. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first, and Adam Hazley digs in now. From the belt, kicks and deals. But this is speared by the first baseman, and he'll take it to the bag for the out, and there's your unassisted double play. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Game three moves forward to the fourth inning now. It's the Padres one, and the Dodgers nothing. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. On the ground to the right side. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that brings up Will Smith. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. That evens it up one and one. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Well that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Swing and a miss and that's out number three. Dodgers down in order. They trail this one one to nothing. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. Here now is Juan Soto. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. The left fielder. Juan. Outfield shaded toward Soto. right center. Here's the first pitch. The cutter runs outside. Ball one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. Three and one to the Padres left fielder. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And the count will be full.
Now a swing and a ground ball. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy has had a monster postseason so far. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Soto gets his lead at first, nobody out. Out in front here is this one scorched, foul to the left. The 1-1. One -one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The 2 1. And there he goes towards second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Ball's there and he is out. Good throw. A lot of times, if a guy is going, it's going to be on the first couple of pitches, but he waited it out that time. Didn't matter, though. A good catch and throw, and they nabbed him at second. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Next it'll be Trent Grisham. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on the way. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Hey this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes. But the bottom line is he's getting out. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Again, a 1 2. And another foul ball. Hard sinker misses two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with L.A.'s manager to discuss his thoughts on the Dodgers' offense so far. And one thing he stressed to me is the need for them to have more competitive at-bats the rest of the game. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today. And while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitching. Thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. So one out and nobody aboard. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. First offering. 
it's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. The 1 0. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. On to first, and there were two down. And now here is David Fletcher. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Fouled away. Now the 2 1. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. The 3 1. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They still trail one nothing. So stepping in is Nick Prado. He'll get his side started in the go. inning, and Dan, Audrey. so far they've been the stifled offensively man. since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. And now pitch on the way. Nope, that's a ball. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Prado, a California born ball player, he's in his third season as a major league player. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Luis Camposano is on deck. That one's in there, 3 and 1. Now that's just a nasty cutter right there. I don't care if that's his cold zone and he doesn't handle that pitch in that well. Most hitters don't get to that. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Next up is Luis Camposano. He collected a base hit his first time up. Look now the pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. On its way, the 0-2 pitch popped up, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 0-2 once more misses. That's ball one. The 1-2. 
He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2 but now that they both missed I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in but you can't be too cute either. Prado aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit on the ground toward the left. Rendon has it. The second for one. On to first, and they get them both. That's a great example the there of baseman. why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. Into the box, Daniel Robertson. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. Misses off the plate. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Three and one the count now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Good battle. Count remains full. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Padres go down quietly, but they're up one to nothing. Cabert Ruiz will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Now here's the first offering. And he puts it on the ground to second. He's got it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Mookie Betts. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on the pitch well inside for strike one. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. Boy, that's a good pitch right there. The old, old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music. Up and in. See if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. Fly ball out toward left center field. And he will make the play. Two away now. Next up, Delino De Shields. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Here it comes on nothing and two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. The one two. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon.
throw over to the bag and the runner back. First offering on its way. Fastball just inside. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Ball and a strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. A runner on first with two away. Tight break with the slider there, catches the inside for a strike. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Swing and a looper to left. Left fielder coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. Boy, it looked like a quick in and gets the first two out, then it hit by pitch, and it's single to keep things going. Yeah, you never know what's going to start a rally. Take one for the boys. Hit by pitch right there. Now a couple good ABs, and we're on the board. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. 1 and 0 oh, the count. One and one to the Dodgers first baseman. The Shields at second, Rendon at first, two out in the inning. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field, base hit. And the tying run comes around to score from second. You know, D-Row, there are certain hitters that just love to come up and clutch two out in RBI situations, and this guy certainly is one of those guys. Yeah, they're able to slow the moment down. It's not for everybody. This guy has ice water in his veins consistently coming through in big spots. Nice job right there to tie this one up. Here now is Will Smith as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. One for two in the ballgame thus far. He set the 0 1. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Two down, runners at first and second. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down one, two. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. This is hit softly to third. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. And it seems like maybe they're starting to get to the guy on the mound a bit now. Yeah, and that could be a sign that he's starting to wear down a little bit, Matt. The first thing to go when you're getting tired is usually your command. So even if you're throwing strikes, they might be a little bit more hittable than they were earlier in the game. 
All right, something to keep an eye on if he remains in the game much longer as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. The set and the 1 0. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. LA's on top, 2 to 1. James Jeez. Sneed enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Aaron Hicks is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against a modern-day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. Here comes the 1-0. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Barehanded at his knees. It's there, and he's out. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Third baseman. Up next, no Nolan Gorman. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he fouls this one off. He'll try again, one, two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Smith recovers and he makes the throw to first. Gorman is retired. Two down now. Now Now to the plate. Adam Hazley. He was a double play victim last time around. First offering on its way. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Nope. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Inside and low, two and one. Grounded up the first baseline. Hoskins has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to the seventh now in game three. It's the Dodgers two and the Padres one. Taylor Williams is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. So here's Johan Camargo already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. This pitch is popped up. Gorman has a play. He's got it one away. Next here is David Fletcher. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First delivery to him. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. 
And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Andrew Stevenson gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out and the base is empty. And the pitch. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Now pitch on the way lifted down the line in left and this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases throw won't get him man that swing looked like self defense than a real quality swing but hey he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely to second those are the kind of hits that would drive you nuts as a pitcher. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Now that left field. Next up for Los Angeles, Delino De Shields. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out. To two and two now. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Even at two and two. The pitch hit high in the air down the right field line. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. Boy, that's a big RBI right there to give this team a two run cushion going into the late innings. And it always makes it easier on the opposing pitcher to know they have a two run lead. Yeah, Leo Mazzoni always used to say, old pitching coach for the Atlanta Braves, solos won't kill us, guys. And he's absolutely right. You give yourself a two run lead, a solo homer is not going not gonna to do too much damage. Anthony Rendon is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. Three and oh now. There's absolutely no need to challenge him in this situation right here. Do yourself a favor, be smart, nibble a little bit, maybe use his aggressiveness against himself. Here's the 3-0. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Betts, the runner at third, to Shields at second with two gone. 
fouled away. Fouled off. He sent the 3 2. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Dodgers get one in the inning on the RBI double. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's 3 to 1 LA. James Pazos will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late innings, but I think this game could still turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. First delivery to him. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1 0. This is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Call to strike, and it's full three and two. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality AB and start the line moving again. This is ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead, and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you, so we'll see if that's the case here. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Here it comes. No balls in one strike. And he misses with it one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now the 2 1 he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. the ground is short could this be two to second for one but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first so a runner at first now with one away and that brings up Trent Grisham now a throw over and he'll dive back in Now the first pitch. 
This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Here's a look over to first. And he'll get back in safely. Strike called, now the throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come, and his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. The slider across that time laid off for a ball. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. He'll come home with it, but not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. Hey, with two strikes right there, he's trying to run that ball oh, that up and in, in to try to tie him up, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah, in today's game, everybody's fighting so hard to keep their hands inside the baseball that I think a non executed pitch on the inner half Dan is exactly what the batter's looking for something he can keep his hands inside and just fist to the opposite field. Corey Knebel takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Stepping in now Nick Prado as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A one pitch on its way. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah that's a good way of trying to control the running game Matt. The problem with it though it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Two and one the count. Quick check on that tying run at first. Runner back safely. Two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Now a throw over to first and he'll get dirty but he's back in safely. Fastball didn't miss by much and it's a full count now three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit hard back up the middle, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. At the plate, Luis Camposano. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A hit and two at bats for him at this point in the ball game.
And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Here he comes on 2 0. Oh. Swing and the ball served into center field, and it's going to work out a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 4 to 3 game. You know, it's awfully difficult to score runs late in the game after okay. being down by one zero. That base second hit base drives him too. That's a huge yeah, base hit. What a momentum swing. Oh, what an AB right there. Now you got to grab your leather and go out and flash some D for the boys. to the plate now Daniel Robertson as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far there's the good knuckle curve a ball and a strike. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. Chasen Shreve takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Sam Haggerty will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now the first pitch. up the middle one there on the first and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen one batter two outs and the inning is over one pitch two outs a pitcher's best friend in the inning back with more from game three after this. Robert Stevenson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. First offering, 4 1. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Swing and a liner. But this will get foul. 2-1. and one. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a miss there, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Now that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. 
A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Standing in now, Will Smith. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 0 and 1 delivery. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Late now, Brandon Nimmo. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Dodgers down in order. They still trail it here four to three. Brad Hand is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Digging in now for San Diego. Nolan Gorman comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken down the middle, and that's strike two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. And it's fouled away. Another 1 2 delivery. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a 1 and 2 now pitch, but you can right see that he wasn't laying down Not without a fight. He really Thanks, made the pitcher Larry. earn that strikeout. Into the box, Adam Hazley. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hand playing here in his age 34 season. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. 
Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Now a ball rolled softly to second. Reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Digging in next, Juan Soto. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here's the first pitch to him. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's one and one. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two ball, two strikes. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Fernando Tatis Jr. would be next. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. But they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Seth Lugo comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Johan Camargo. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Now here's the pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Now here's the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. Gorman has room in foul territory. And they can't run it down. And now pitch on the way. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Ronnie Mauricio will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Here's the first pitch to him. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning.
And he fouls this one off. A big crowd here downtown. 42,445 on their feet in San Diego. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. A one run finish four to three the final tally today. The Padres have won their first in three tries in this division series. Taylor Williams earns the victory on the mound. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame.